Hi, this is Miss Torres, and today we are going to focus on Go Math Chapter 11, Lesson 4. In this lesson, we are going to focus on different ways of measuring objects using what we already learned with length, height, and weight. Now listen to this story. Moses wants to measure his couch. What are the ways that Moses can measure his couch? So I want you to look at the couch and think about how could we measure the length of the couch? Well, Moses can measure the length of the couch by right, using a ruler or something that you can measure with and measuring this way. This is the way that we measure length from one side to the other. Now, how could Moses measure the height of his couch? Which direction would he go? The height of his couch would be from top to bottom. So he would measure starting at the bottom and going all the way up to the top of his couch. So this would be how he could measure height and how tall or how short his couch is. And remember, you can always measure the weight of something as well using a scale. Now, remember the bottom right is measuring the length and on the side right here we are measuring the height. This is the skill that we will be practicing throughout our lesson today. Listen to this story. Javea and Marley want to measure their books in different ways. What are the ways they can measure their books? So look at the book and the lines on the page. The lines show how to measure length and height. I want you to point to the horizontal line and read the word length. This is the horizontal line. This is how we measure length. Now trace your finger over the line that shows you how to measure length. How would you describe the line? You could say that it goes from side to side. It goes from one side all the way to the other side. And that's how you measure length. Now, we have the vertical line on this side to measure height. I want you to trace your finger over the line that shows how to measure the height of the book. How would you describe this line? You could describe it from going from bottom to the top. So you start here at the bottom of the book and you go all the way up to the top and that measures the height of the book. Can you think of another way to measure this book? You could weigh the book to measure the weight of the book. You can pick up the book and describe it as being heavy or light. So, if Javea and Marley want to measure their books in different ways, what are the ways that they can measure their books? Well, they can measure their books by length, by height, and by weight. In our classroom, we have a tape dispenser. At the top of the page, you'll see a tape dispenser. Now, I want you to point out the dashed lines at the bottom and the side of the tape dispenser. We see we have lines at the bottom and lines on the side. Now which line shows how to measure the length of the tape dispenser? Point to the line that shows how to measure the length. Remember that is the one that goes side to side. So the bottom line here from side to side helps us measure the length. Now, which line shows how to measure the height of the tape dispenser? Point to that line. 
usually that's the line that goes from the bottom to the top. So this line on the side from bottom to top helps us measure the height of the tape dispenser. Is there another way to measure the tape dispenser? Don't forget you can also measure the weight of the tape dispenser too. Okay, now we are moving down to the glue. It looks like we have a bottle of glue. Now, same thing. Which line shows how to measure the length of the glue? Go ahead and point to it. Remember, if we want to measure the length of the glue, that's the line that goes from side to side. That is how we measure the length. Which line shows how to measure the height of the glue? Go ahead and point to that line. Yes, it's the one that starts from the bottom to the top. That's how we measure the height of the glue. Is there another way to measure the glue? Yes, remember, we can also measure the weight of the glue. Pick up a bottle of glue. Does it feel light? Does it feel heavy? You can measure the tape and the glue by length, height, and weight. Okay, let's get some more practice. Now we're going to go through this a little bit quicker. Number three on our backpack, point to the line that measures the length of the backpack. Remember, that line goes from side to side, right here at the bottom. This measures the length of the backpack. Now, which line measures the height of the backpack? The line that goes from the bottom to the top. Number four with a box of crayons. I'm going to switch it up on you. Point to the line that measures the height of the crayon box. The height. Remember, the side from top to bottom measures the height of the crayon box. Then which line point to the line that measures the length of the crayon box? This is the line that goes from side to side, measures the length of the crayon box. Number five, we have a box of grape juice. I want you to point to the line that measures the height of the juice box. Which line measures the height? Remember, that's the line that goes from the bottom to the top, measures the height of the juice box. And now point to the line that measures the length of the juice box. That line goes from side to side, measures the length of the ju juice box. Last one, number six, we have, it looks like, a toolbox. What line measures the length of the toolbox? The length. Remember, that's the line that goes from side to side, measures the length of the toolbox. And point to the line that measures the height of the toolbox. That's the one on the side that goes from top to bottom, or bottom to top. Okay, let's move on. Our last one, this is for if you like to draw, you have a paper and pencil. This is an activity that you can do at home. To draw, to show what you know about measuring an object in more than one way. So I want you to pick any object that you want to draw. It could be your favorite toy, something that you see around the house, your favorite food. I'm going to choose to draw a TV, a television. So I'm going to draw my TV. Draw a little stand for my TV. And here is my television, my TV. And I want to measure the length of my TV. So I'm going to draw a line to show how I can measure the length of my TV. Remember, that's from side to side. 
Now I'm going to draw another line to show how I can measure the height of my TV. How tall is my TV? And you can start from the bottom and go all the way up to the top to show the height of my TV. Remember, you can pick any object that you want to draw. After you draw the object, I want you to draw your lines to show how you can measure the length and the height of your object. You can go around your house to extend your learning and find objects that could be easily measured by length, height, and weight. You can do this with a family member, right, with your parent, your sibling, your grandparents, or someone that's at home with you. And I want you to find the objects and tell them how you can measure this object. Remember, you can use length, height, and weight. Thank you for watching. This is our last lesson of how to measure with length, height, and weight.